Good evening from St. Peter's Square in Rome, uh, where only a couple of days ago, um, Pope Francis canonized seven saints for the church, uh, seven heroic witnesses for the faith. Now, most people know um, two of those heroic saints, uh, Paul VI, uh, the Pope who concluded the Second Vatican Council, um, and they also know uh, Archbishop Bosco Romero, um, who was martyred in San Salvador um, and uh, was a prophet of justice uh, for the people there. Um, and you see there, um, you see behind me uh, the St. Peter's, and they have the, um, the images of the seven saints. Um, so what I found most remarkable, though, are the other five saints. Um, because everyone's going to give it a lot of attention to, uh, to Paul VI, to Oscar Romero, um, but not many people know about the other seven. Um, I confess I don't even know uh, much about them myself. But being a part of the canonization and seeing, those, seeing these banners up here um, during that canonization mass, um, that they were all together. Um, while Paul VI, for instance, had the center picture, um, they were all at the equal level there on the, the facade of St. Peter's, which means to say that um, the Holy Father, and I think um, our, our faith is really calling us to look at them all as part of the communion of saints, and to even get to know the ones that we don't know that well. Um, I think we have a lot of saints in our Catholic tradition that we uh, were very familiar with. St. Francis of Assisi, St. Dominic, uh, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Teresa of the Little Flower. We know these saints, um, but we don't necessarily know some of the ones that uh, may not be well known. And so, uh, to me, this canonization challenged me, and maybe it might challenge you, uh, to discover some of these other heroes of the faith. Because um, just because of notoriety doesn't necessarily mean make someone more holy. Um, just like you and me, um, we may not be known uh, by a lot of people, but that doesn't excuse us from the call to holiness, which the Synod is very much encouraging our young people to consider, the call to holiness, the call to, be, to make your life sacred. Um, whether or not you are uh, doing inc incredible things in the missions uh, somewhere or if you are simply living your life to the fullest uh, with the gifts God gave you uh, and the circumstances in which you find yourself um, as a son or daughter, as a mother or father, as a brother or sister, as a friend, um, as a co-worker, whatever that might be, um, you know, the Lord is calling us to be to, to greatness in those roles, no matter how small they may seem. And so um, I think for me, um, experiencing this canonization was a grace. Um, it was a grace to be here, obviously, for two heroes of the faith for, that I have known more about my life, that, uh, that I have looked up to, St. Paul VI and St. Oscar Romero. But I'm also grateful for the other five wonderful saints we now have in our church. I look forward to getting to know them. Um, because I think they will embody for me and for us um, a sense of holiness in the everyday. Um, so, um, reflecting on this canonization, let's reflect on the, the, not just the grand expressions of faith, but let's, ex let's reflect a little bit on the little things. And remember, in our lives, we are called to be saints, we are called to holiness. It is our vocation, and we are called to accompany one another through that vocation, wherever that is. So, something to reflect on, something for me to reflect on, to challenge me, um, and I look forward to seeing you again here in St. Peter's Square. God bless you, wherever you are.